Hello friends. Okay, so I'm doing something a little different today. I'm doing more of a day in the life of a vegan foodie content creator slash what I eat in a day because I'm in between filming more content. Yes, there has been a delay, but I promise I am working on some new stuff and also I just, I am figuring some stuff out. I'm gonna be honest. But for now, I'm gonna pose this because I do, you know, I like to eat at home. I wanna show you guys what I actually eat when I'm at home, what I prepare for myself, slash what it's like when I go out to like different places to either create content or just being a vegan foodie and wanting to try different foods, right? So, okay, enough of that, let's get into it. So first, I'm gonna show you guys something that I made for breakfast that was just completely epic and a great way to get lots of protein, like 47 grams. So this tofu, I used about eight ounces and I crumbled it up and added this tofu seasoning for my country life. Guys, this seasoning is amazing. It packs 11 grams of protein per two tablespoons. I'll leave a link in my bio if you guys want 10% off. Then of course I add Morningstar, which packs nine grams of protein. And then I had some leftover mesco sauce from a brunch I went to, so I added that, because why not? it'll add flavor I love romesco these Taiwanese green onion pancakes from Trader Joe's are my obsession every time I go I stock up I have two packs in my freezer right now so I opened it up kind of like a pita bread and stuffed all the yummy tofu scramble goodness and that uh, this is it voila I was starving this is so good and then I, of course, prepared my coffee because I always have to have coffee in the morning. I've been obsessed with this one soy milk by Pacific Foods. It's soy milk because it only has two ingredients and it froths really well. So, yeah. So the next day I went to a food market that was really close to my house. And here, let me just show you a bit of my experience. I, I had told myself I was going to stay home and eat like a salad because I need to go on a diet. But then I saw that at SoCal Veg Vibes at Trademark Brewery, they were going to have quesabiria tacos by Conchitas, which I've never tried before, but apparently she's made a comeback because she had a baby, but now she's back. She's back. Um, yeah, let me show you. 100% worth it. Screw the diet. I'm really glad I went because they make their own cashew cheese and they dip it in consomme and you guys, when they flip it over, it looks like ooey gooey vegan cheese. They make their own jackfruit birria and oh my gosh, I'm seriously so happy I went out to have this instead of making a salad at home because it was one of the best tacos I've ever had. She's currently popping up in the LA area only once a month. So yeah, you best believe I dipped in that consomme. It was love at first bite. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. So that weekend I had a charcuterie board with one with a girlfriend of mine and I made a Spanish tortilla because I was craving it and I had leftovers for breakfast so I was like I freaking love hummus I could eat it any time of the day so I had more tortilla and then made some pan con tomate with had olive oil and the grated tomato all leftovers I love leftovers I love 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 leftovers so this was really good I was really happy to eat it and then oh my gosh so my friend she brought me this box of Thrive Donuts because her roommate makes them and sells them you guys were some of the best donuts I I've ever had in my life. So the next day I decided to make some green enchiladas and some rice. This is one of my favorite dishes and I decided to record it for work as well. So I chopped up some onions, grated some carrots, made the rice, a little bit of oil, add it to a pan until they're translucent. Then you add the grated carrot and you kind of just move it around and let them soften. You can add a tiny bit of oil if you feel like it needs it, but you just move it around. And then once that's all incorporated, you add your washed rice and then you add about the same amount of water that you did to rice because you only want a thin layer on top of the water. You don't want too much water, it's gonna be too mushy. Kind of like this. And then you bring it to a boil and then you cover it and then you're gonna put your temperature to low and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Where all that's cooking, I decided to do the cheater way of heating up the tortillas. So I used to add a little bit of oil to tortillas and you put them in a microwave for about a minute until they're malleable like this. And then let's look at our rice. Oh, it's looking good. You gotta move it around. Don't move it, like mix it, mix it. You kinda have to make like a little pile in the middle so it doesn't like mush and then yeah. So this green enchilada salsa, I love this. this. I have a recipe link right here. You guys can check it out. So I just like added vegan cheese, vegan meat and whatever. And there you go. There's my plate. It's not my favorite looking enchiladas I've ever made, but they were delicious. 
So to end this, I went on a run with a friend. We ran 3K, one mile was uphill because we had a mini food crawl. We started with just what I needed in Highland Park, you guys, oh my God. They have a vegan lox bagel, which we recommend open face, but the star is this biscuit impossible breakfast sandwich. I cannot wait to go back to eat this. I mean, just look at my reaction. Oh, oh my God. No, this is the move. This is better open face. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is so good. And they have the best vegan carrot cake too. I seriously, I, I'm already planning to go back. And then that same day we went to Panorama City because Vegetize Me wanted me to film some content. So we checked it out, you guys. They have an amazing Monte Cristo. It's like classic diner food made vegan. And then they had curly fries, animal style, and these epic peanut butter banana pancakes with Oreos. Oh my gosh, this spread is awesome. I, I had to enjoy those curly fries. I love curly fries. So my last meal that I wanna share with you guys are these two ingredient flax tortillas. I kinda just use them as wraps and put these Jack and Annie's um, nuggets. I freaking love Jack and Annie's. If you don't try them, try them. So basically for these two ingredient tortillas, you want to use a cup of flax seeds and then you blend it into a flour and then you're going to bring some water to a boil and then once it's boiling you're going to add the flax and you kind of just mix it you can turn off the heat by this point but you're going to form a dough if it looks too wet you add a little bit more flax if you need so once you have a dough ball like this you kind of break it up into five balls and then you roll them in between two pieces of parchment paper and then you have your giant flat flax tortilla and you can use the top of a lid to create the circles nothing fancy but yeah it works and then to a pan with no oil because the flax seeds already have their own oil you're gonna wait till just fluffy like this and they look amazing right like this oh my gosh i love them like they're healthy low carb high fiber so yeah all right so i hope you guys liked this video i hope you guys enjoyed that getting some inspiration and different things you can eat um, if you have any ideas of what else you'd like to see for content, please let me know and I'll catch you guys next time on the You can see more videos up here. Bye!